Hello YouTube. Oh, Zay, look at the way. Big hairy German Shepherd. An exciting day at Tommy and Buggy Races House today. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, I went and picked up a couple of wee items today that should keep me busy for probably two or two days maybe at the most. There they are. So good having them in my room. Now, Monster Battle will be doing box art, even though I don't like box art. Um, I've just been offered a, an original one, so I can always keep that one box art, I suppose, and do a custom one on this. Uh, I'm going to be doing MIP diff in that, um, standard ESC, standard motor, waterproofing it, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I build them. I buy them to build, to run, not sit on a shelf. Blackfoot, got a bit of a different idea lined up for him. Keeping with my Star Wars theme, like I did with my brat. Although the Blackfoot is not going to be white. Uh, it's going to be completely blacked out. And I've got a special little driver on order for him. He's on his way. Same with that one, MIP diff. Standard motor, standard ESC, waterproof, got a Traxxas waterproof servo there somewhere. Um, somewhere, I'm pretty sure it's over there. Oh, yeah, there it is. So, yeah, so there we go, there's those two. Now, the only thing I have to decide now, which one to build first? Latest. So here we are, back in Tamiya Buggy Races RC Den. Well, it's actually my bedroom. Uh, it's been three days since the start of this video. Uh, it took it only took me two days to build the cars. But I was just waiting for one item to arrive for the Blackfoot, which it did today. So that was good. Quickly drew, uh, glued that into place. Now, just that, while I remember, if you're ever having problems with your super glue, I know it might not work for everybody, but it just seemed to work for me. Um, the two surfaces wouldn't take. Uh, I put some super glue on there and it just wouldn't sit. So I got it tacky enough to move. And then I just dropped it in the freezer for a minute and a half, two minutes. And the glue just went off straight away. So now it's on there pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know how that will work for everybody else. But it might just be a fluke. Who knows. But anyway, without further ado, here are the two of my awesome trucks <laughs> so there's the black foot went full on black with this one uh, just it looks amazing I'm quite happy with the way it turned out uh, that's what I was waiting for in there Mr Darth Vader um, which will go quite well with this fella here the stormtrooper brat I'm going to probably end up getting another brat and doing another Stormtrooper just because I like it and I can. Um, just, yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy Star Wars and I enjoy radio control cars, so why not, eh? So anyway, we've got in the Blackfoot, we have the Traxxas XL5 waterproof ESC and a Traxxas steering servo waterproof. The receiver is in a balloon. Uh, also another good way to waterproof things um, but yeah and it's all good I'm not running I'm not going to run any hot motors in these I'm just going to run the standard 540 cans because I just you know I, I buy these to build them and to run them and I enjoy running them so I don't want anything that's drawing a lot of power um, but yeah so that's that's the Blackfoot now the Monster Beetle I did go box art after all that um, the only difference is I did a flat clear coat on it. Um, I used Tester's dull coat, uh, same as what I did on the Blackfoot. Uh, it's just it's an amazing. I just I love it. It just goes over decals, and it, it never they never lift. They don't yellow nothing. It just it looks really really good. Um, same with that. The servo isn't waterproof. I have got another one coming. The ESC is in a balloon. Is, is the receiver. Uh, balloons are fine, you don't have to worry about them overheating. The ESC overheating with the standard cans in the balloon because they don't really get hot enough to worry about it anyway. But it's just a cheap way of waterproofing them. There's other YouTube videos on there on YouTube of how to do it with using um, Plasti Dip and or Araldite. Um, 
one of my subscribers uses Aerodite, it was his last video on Mat Matty Ol. But anyway, that's the three three awesomeness trucks. The next one on the cards will be the frog. And then after that the mud blaster. Uh, I've got a original Blackfoot coming. So that'll that's good. It's in box art, so I'll just tidy it up a wee bit and just I don't know what I'll do with it, I'll probably just hold on to it. I've been offered another monster beetle. Um, which is also in box art, but I'll probably end up using that chassis for the mud blaster. Uh, and I'm currently bidding on a Subaru Brat body on a local trading site, so hopefully I'll score that relatively cheaply. And then I'll have my mud blaster, and then I'll have five of the six ORV chassis. I'm not really too worried about the Lancia. It's not really something I'd go out to look for. I like my trucks but anyway that's them uh, there'll be running videos coming shortly um, probably in maybe two or three weeks I'm waiting for the MIP diffs that I ordered for these two to turn up so they'll hopefully be here in maybe three weeks maybe depending on shipping but yeah hopefully you enjoyed that uh, I definitely enjoy building these things um, I love Tamiya I've I've, all, I've sworn by Tamiya, love them to pieces, uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, so like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you have to do, it's all good with me, but in the meantime, cheers YouTube, happy RCing.